So everything went fine? Yeah, Tony. Good. <laughs> Nothing went wrong. No, nah, man, everything was good, Tony. Good. <clears throat> so Reggie loved the stuff. Oh, he had to the way he made off with it. Good. When you say made off with it, yeah, man, you just took it and ran with it. Wow. Well, good. <laughs> so Reggie loved the stuff so much that he ran with it. Yeah, man, he literally ran with the shit, Tony. Good. Now, when you say he literally ran. He literally ran with it, Tony. I was waiting with the shit where he sat, and he came up with his dudes and just took off with it. With his dudes? That motherfucker. I told him to go alone. I know how that kind of shit freaks you out. See, now, usually it does, Tony. Usually it does. But this happened so quickly that I was fine. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Those Russians, man. Crazy cats. What are you talking about, Jerry? Those Russians, Tony. Crazy ass motherfuckers. Jerry. <laughs> Reggie's Asian. Crazy as they come, Tony. What? <laughs> Reggie. He's fucking Chinese. Oh, he can't be, Tony, because the guy that took the shit was absolute Russian Caucasian man. Just out of pure curiosity, Jerry, uh, where's the dough? The what? <laughs> the dough? What dough? The Pillsbury fucking dough boy, shithead. The money. Where's the cash? I thought this was just a friendly thing, Tony. What the fuck are you talking about, a friendly thing? Well, you said, Tony, now here's what you said. You said, Jerry, I got my friend Reggie in town and I want you to hook him up with some shit. Tony, that's what you said, Tony. <sighs> Jerry, my buddy, my good friend, are you telling me that you fucked me up the ass? No, Tony, no, I would never fuck you up the ass, Tony, no. Jerry, <laughs> my best friend. My business partner, are you telling me that you bent me over and fucked me up the ass? Tony, you said, now you said. When I say I want you to hook him up with some shit, it does not mean I want you to hook him up with free shit. If I want you to hook him up with free shit, I'll fucking say hook him up with free shit. I'm sorry, Tony, I'm sorry. Don't cut my face off, Tony, okay, I'll be better. Cut your face off, what the fuck? <laughs> Isn't that what you do to people who cross you? I kill them, Jerry. Or I break a couple of their fingers. I don't cut their fucking face off. Jesus! <laughs> Thank God, Tony. I don't want to lose my face. That is some weird-ass Hannibal shit. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you think I cut people's faces off? I don't know. It just seems like something you'd do. <laughs> seems like something I could do? What? I've just got that book? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> I think I could use that to my advantage? Good. You already are. Maybe I should play that up more. You know, uh, give me my money, you fucking brick girl. Cut your fucking face off. Oh, I don't think you need to say it, Tony. What are you talking about? I'm saying you just got that look, Tony. If you say it, it's 100% less threatening. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, give me my money, you brick girl. What was what? That thing you did. What, this? Yeah, what the hell are you doing? Winking, Jerry. Tony, I know what a wink is. What, you think I've never seen a wink before? What's the matter with you? What's that? your problem? Don't wink, Tony. It looks like you're on Sesame Street or something. <laughs> well, how else are they supposed to realize I'm capable of cutting their face That's off? the point, Tony. You don't need to picture it. I never should have told you. Now it's all in your head. <laughs> Just forget about it. 
Say, where'd you go anyway? You know, for the uh, free deal? To the alleyway, like you said. When the fuck did I say alleyway? It was on the note, Tony. Shove it in the alleyway. Shove it? Jerry, I told you to do it in front of Tracy's parlor. Tracy's parlor, with that little haircut in place on first? <laughs> yeah, we always do our shit there. Well, that's right, we do. Tracy's a sweetheart. Isn't she? Wonderful woman. <laughs> you get your hair cut there? You kidding me? I get my toenails clipped there. Yeah. Hey, before you leave, do you grab one of those little Tootsie Pops? My monster? Of course I do. Yeah, good. Thought I was the only one. Sometimes? I take two. No shit! I shit you not, Tony! Wow! Fuck! <laughs> my day's been grabbing two then. It'll change your life, Tony. Wait, you know? What? Earlier you said the note. What note? The note you slipped under the door. Since when do I go around slipping notes under doors? I don't do that shit. Well, it's definitely you, Tony. It's your handwriting and everything. You got it? Got what? <laughs> the fucking note, Jerry! The note! No, no, I got it. No, I got it, right? Well, I got it in here somewhere, Tony. No, I got it. it. Okay, I don't got it, Tony. But, but I, I do remember what it says, Tony. It said, it said, Hey, baby. I don't know why it called me baby. <laughs> Same as usual tonight, shoving it in the alleyway. Signed, Tony. Ah, shit, man. What, Tony? That's for Vanessa, man. What are you talking about? Vanessa? When her bullshit husband goes off to business work, I slip in and I nail her. Shoving it in the alleyway is like uh, innuendo. She knows what it means. Oh, man, I'm sorry. That wasn't meant for you. <laughs> I see where I got mixed up there. Yeah. That's fucking funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Tony. <laughs> How did you get that note? What are you talking about, Tony? I always slipped that under Vanessa's door. How'd you get that note? I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean you don't know? I, I, maybe you slipped it under the wrong door. Jerry, I know where you live, and it's five miles north of Vanessa's. I didn't slip under the wrong damn door. Well, sometimes, Tony, I get directionally challenged and I go to the wrong places all the time. <laughs> Were you fucking her? Tony, no. No. Jerry, my pal, my best friend. Were you fucking Vanessa? I would never do that to you, Tony. Then how'd you get the note, Jerry? Okay, I may have been there. I may have been there. <laughs> <laughs> may have? You fucking prick. No pun intended? Look, Tony, look, you, you got a girlfriend, Tony, okay? You got Sherry. You can't fuck the girls I'm fucking, Jerry. You just can't. That must include, but it's not limited to, Sherry and Vanessa. I, I'm sorry, Tony, okay? I'm sorry. So let me get this straight. The reason you fucked up a very important and personal deal, a deal you got no money for, a deal that's got the Russian mafia involved in my business, a deal that betrays the trust of my chink friend Reggie, is because you got mixed up reading a note I sent while you were fucking Vanessa. Jeez, oh, what, what are you gonna do to me, Tony? Are you gonna kill me? No. Are you going to break my fingers? No, Jerry, I'm not going to break your fingers. But what are you going to do? You're right, Jerry. It's better when I don't feature it. Shit! <laughs>